Today I'm going to be giving you 5 style tips to dressing better but in the most affordable way possible. Alright, how are you doing today? My name is Aaron Ramirez. If you are new around here, I simplify men's fashion and fitness. So if you want to learn more about that, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. But something else that I do in this channel is teach you that money does not equal style. And today's video is going to be the perfect example of that because these are five style tips that I used to do when I first started getting into men's fashion to dress better in the most affordable way possible. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. All right, the first tip that I can give you is focusing on affordable shoes. Now it is completely unnecessary to drop a ton of money on shoes. Obviously, all you really need is one pair, but the more that you have, the better. But when you're just starting out, one pair is perfect. Now, what I mean by affordable shoes is obviously shoes that are not very expensive, but more importantly, shoes that are very versatile. If you don't know what that means, basically, it's getting one pair of shoes that you could wear with pretty much anything. Now, I have an entire video of a list full of shoes like this, but basically, my top three are going to be Nike Blazers, Converse Chuck 70s and Nike Air Force Ones. Those three shoes are less than $100 and go with literally everything. Now, like I said, those are my top three favorites, but if you don't like any of those, I have a video of a list full of those, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. All right, moving on to this second style tip. This is going to be shopping at the right places. Now, if you're on a budget, you're going to avoid crazy expensive places and you're gonna be shopping at places that you honestly didn't think of shopping at. Now, obviously there are a ton of affordable men's fashion stores like ASOS, H&M, Forever 21. Now these are great places, but they can also get pretty expensive. So instead look at other places you might not have thought of such as Ross, Marshalls, Target, or even Walmart. Now I know this might come to a surprise to you, but I'm not lying to you. These places sell really cool things for a very affordable price. Like if you're on TikTok right now, you would see a lot of people have been shopping at Walmart and people are finding some really good stuff there. So I definitely recommend that you check it out as well. Now, obviously Walmart sells some really weird stuff like this. So try to avoid stuff like that and instead go for something a little bit more like this. There's also a ton of other places like thrift stores. I've been thrifting a lot recently and I really like it. And if you're on a budget, this is a perfect place for you to check out. So check out your local Goodwill or whatever thrift stores are around you there is a high chance you can find some really good stuff there for an insanely affordable price. For example, I bought one of my favorite flannels for only $3 at the thrift store. Brand new, these go for like $35, so you're gonna be saving a ton of money. And speaking of flannels, I know Walmart sells some really good flannels for around $10 to $15, and like I said, the most I spent on a flannel is around $40 from Hollister. So the price difference is huge. However, the quality are both good. Obviously the $40 one, but for $15, you're not gonna find anything better. All right, the third style tip is gonna be accessorizing, which is something I talk about a lot. However, more specifically, I'm gonna be talking about stainless steel. Now, stainless steel literally looks exactly like silver. So this ring that I'm holding right now, this is an actual silver ring that I picked up. It's a class ring, very expensive. I'm too embarrassed to say the price, but it costed me quite a bit of money. And then the second ring that I'm showing you is a stainless steel that costed me only $25. As you can tell, they are both very similar. The only thing that are different is the insane price gap between both of them. Now you can find stainless steel rings, chains, necklaces. You can find these pretty much anywhere. Amazon's a really good place to look at. Even eBay is also a really good place to check out. The reason why I like stainless steel so much opposed to like something like fake gold is stainless steel actually won't turn your neck green and it's a bit more higher quality than something like fake silver or fake gold. All right, the fourth style tip that I can give you is simple plain outfits. Now, some people may argue that this is boring, but in my opinion, I think it's completely not. So me personally, I like to think that I have a pretty high range when it comes to fashion. I like to experiment with some trends. I like to experiment with logos, graphics, anything like that. However, for the most part, I always end up going back to simple outfits. Pretty much what I mean by this is I drop every logo, I drop every kind of trend, and instead I go to something very simple, like a pair of black jeans and a white t-shirt and a flannel. This is something very, very simple, very plain, but it looks really good. The reason why I'm suggesting plain outfits to look good affordably is because you could pick up everything like this for a very affordable price. So I know H&M sells some t-shirts for around $7, some jeans for around $25. 
and then combine that with any type of jacket or overshirt that you already have and that is a very affordable outfit that looks really good going back to walmart walmart sells some t-shirts for only five dollars plus that 15 dollars flannel and a pair of 20 dollars jeans i'm really bad at math but that is definitely a very low price so when you're trying to look good on an affordable budget make sure to stick to plain outfits that don't involve too many logos all right the fifth style tip that i can give you so you can look better instantly on a very affordable price is going to be clearance sections so pretty much every single brand is going to have a clearance section is going to have some sort of sale going on at any type of point most commonly if you're entering a new season and you're leaving one behind they're always going to have a clearance section of things that they didn't sell and you can get them for a very affordable price one place i really like to check is paxton i always see them do either buy one get one free or buy one get one 50 percent off right there you're already saving a ton of money or if you're doing something like online shopping always sort low to high and pretty much nearly every single website is going to have a sales section. So just browse around the website and I promise you, you're going to find something like clearance or sales going on. But anyways, those are the five style tips that I can give you to instantly dress better in the most affordable way possible. Now, like I said, in this channel, that's exactly what I teach you. I teach you that money does not equal style. So if you haven't already, definitely make sure to subscribe. Even to this day, I don't like to spend a ton of money on clothes. All right. But anyways, like I said, that is it for today's video. So I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. I just want to thank you for all the recent support lately. We are very close to 10,000 subscribers, so I'm very excited about that. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.